what's going on guys switch brew here and welcome back to another youtube video so in this youtube video what we're going to be doing is updating from 18.0 custom firmware to 18.0.1 now if you look on the atmosphere github and stuff there's no official release for the 18.0.1 firmware however i can confirm that the atmosphere for custom firmware version 18.0 works perfectly fine with 18.0.1 so if you're on 18 um these files will be in the video description and all you need to do is download basically this file which contains the update files for 18.0.1 normally i'll get these off a specific website which i'm not going to name in this video however they're not on there as of yet so what i did is i physically dumped the firmware files myself from my console so once you've downloaded this and as you as i said before you need to be on 18.0.0 if you're not and you're on an older firmware i'll put the video in the description and what you'll need to do is follow that video and update to 18.0 once you're on 18.0 you can flick back to this video and update to the 18.0.1 now just to let you guys know this is not necessary no games or anything like that require this update at the moment however i'm a pretty sad guy and i like to keep my switch updated so that's why i'm making this video so what we're going to do now is we're going to hop over onto the nintendo switch and we're going to go from there so i'll see you over there so guys as you can see we're now back over on the nintendo switch console so what we're going to do is first head over to settings and once i'm in settings what i'm going to do is scroll down to system and just show you guys that i am on 18.0.0 ams 1.7.0 so what we're going to do now is go back to the main menu and what i've done is i have removed the custom theme because if you update with a custom theme on you're basically going to get a crash in atmosphere once you've updated so before doing anything make sure you remove your custom theme so what we're going to do now is we're going to mount the switch up to the computer and we're going to copy the 18.0.1 update files across so i'll see you back over on the computer so once you're back over on the computer what you want to do is hook up your switch whether you go through hecate and go into tools and go into usb tools and mount it by pressing the sd card button and plugging in a usb c cable or you can go ahead and take the micro sd card out and plug it into your pc that way if you wish but it does not matter so once you've got your switches sd card up on the computer what you want to do is download the 18.0.1 update files and you want to extract them so what i'm going to do is go into this go into the 18.0.1 update and then drag this 18.0.1 folder onto my desktop and i'm going to let that copy across once that's copied i'm going to close out of winrar i'm then going to go ahead and just drop this 18.0.1 update folder onto my nintendo switch sd card so this is going to copy across and once we've copied across this across what you can do is go ahead and eject the usb if you're using usb or eject your sd card and then we're going to head back over to the switch once you're back over on the switch and you're back in hecate or whatever launch it into custom firmware and once this is copied i'll basically switch back to the switch and show you what to do so as you can see it's copied so what we're going to do is eject this console now once that's ejected what you can do is like i say we'll switch over to the nintendo switch console and i'll show you guys how to update so as you can see we're now back over on the nintendo switch console after copying the 18.0.1 update files across so what we need to do now is go ahead and install them so you want to go ahead and head down to albums once you're in albums what you want to do is go ahead and launch the program called daybreak once in daybreak what you want to then do is go ahead and press a on the install button once you're I've pressed A on the install button it's going to ask you to select an update directory so you want to choose 18.0.1 and then what you're going to have to do is wait for it to validate the update and it's going to take a moment so as you can see it says update is valid so what I'm going to do is go ahead and press A on continue once you get to this screen it says select settings mode you want to just go ahead and press preserve settings 
then going to ask you to select the driver variant. You just want to go ahead and press install FAT32 plus XFAT. And you then want to go ahead and press the A button on the continue. Once that's done, it's going to air the update. This might take a couple of minutes depending on how big the update file actually is. So we're just going to let this run through now. And as you can see, it's now at 100% and it's complete. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and press A on the shutdown button. So I'm going to press this now. So guys, as you can see, we're now back over on the Nintendo Switch console. And in the previous part, you saw me shut down the console. And once it shut down, what I did is obviously power the console back on. In Hecate, I launched back into custom firmware. And this is launched and... I have had no errors. If you guys do get any errors, feel free to leave them in the YouTube comments and I'll try and help you the best I can. So what I'm going to do now is go to settings and I'm going to scroll down to system. And as you can see under current system version, we are now on 18.0.1 AMS 1.7.0. So the update has completed successfully. Just to let you guys know, Everything on 18.0.1 should work as it did on 18.0. So what I'm going to do now for you guys is I'm going to reinstall my custom theme just to show that you guys that it's working. So what we're going to do is head over to albums. We're then going to scroll across to NX themes. Uh, we're going to head over to themes. I'm going to click A on patterns. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and click the Y button and select the screens that I want to install, which is all of them. And I'm then going to go ahead and press the plus button. And what that's going to do is extract each individual page. And then it's going to install them to the console. So I'm going to let this run through. And once it's finished, I'm going to go ahead and reboot the console once again. So now that's finished, what I'm going to do is scroll down to reboot press A on it, and then what I'm going to do now is press A on the reboot button. So I'll see you back on the console in a couple of minutes. So guys, as you can see, we're now back on the Nintendo Switch console after installing the custom theme. And as you can see, it's been applied to the console without any issues. So just so you guys know that I'm not um, feeding you any rubbish in any way, shape or form, what I'm going to do is head over to the settings section. And then I'm going to scroll down to system. And as you can see, we are on 18.0.1. So what I'm going to do now is go back. And like I say, as you can see, the theme has been applied and it works perfectly fine. So guys, that's just been a video on how to update your console to 18.0.1. If you guys have got any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. As I've said, downloads will be in the video description. Thanks for watching. Peace.